Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Tuesday the 9th of October 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Healing Light Tarot by Christopher Butler. Okay. Well, I'm really intrigued to see what message comes out today. Very powerful they have been lately. Okay, what is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit? Ooh, no messing around and I have three. <laughs> oh, wow. This is what it's been like lately, guys. I'm kind of picking the deck up and I can already feel... The energy and that there's really cards wanting to let themselves be heard be known okay wow eight of pentacles followed by the eight of swords and followed by major arcana zero the four back again your first card is eight of pentacles Eight is the number of manifestation, of abundance, of diligence, of study, of self-belief, of you believing in yourselves. Here I see you really focused, really diligent and really studiously working away on your pentacles your pentacles are representing your material plane they are representing your resources your materialism your finances even and here i see you being successful success coming from you putting in the effort not being pulled from your path you have remained focused you have remained true to yourself you have believed in yourself from beginning to end and for this self-belief you're being rewarded you have been your authentic selves from being your authentic selves you're being rewarded with resources in the physical plane materialism in the physical plane <clears throat> and next we have another eight and this is the eight of swords this is the illusion of being trapped here we look at this this lady she is kind of caught in a cobweb and she is surrounded by swords but actually when you look closer this lady really is kind of just a shadow you can actually still see the cobweb there through her showing you that this is the card of illusion this is the card of worry fear doubt not believing in yourself, feeling you are trapped and confined by life, caught up in the web of life. But it is an illusion, it's a spell that's cast over you, it's belief structures that you have been given, that you have believed all of your life. But it is illusionary. Next we have Major Arcana, zero, four, back again. Major Arcana talks about your, your inner world, your inner being, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. And I see you here taking great leaps of faith. You and spirit here represented by, by the horse, by a trusty steed. You have faith, this is self-belief, 
this is self-trust this is taking i mean this is an absolutely huge leap for some of you this is a massive leap that some of you are making but i feel you are believing in yourselves you are trusting yourselves more you are trusting the divine more you are trusting your divine path more you are trusting your your inner knowing your inner knowledge your inner guidance your your gps your sat nav you're trusting your moral compass i am hearing knowing which is right and which is wrong and you are trusting your emotions more you are understanding negative emotion you are understanding the illusion of negative emotion that negative emotion is is there for a reason negative emotion is your inner being letting you know that your inner being is there otherwise you wouldn't be feeling the negativity and the disconnect oh okay i see today <clears throat> We are really believing in ourselves, believing in our path, believing in our calling, trusting ourselves, taking great leaps, leaps because we are believing in us, we are believing in, in spirit, the divine, we are trusting our inner being and our inner knowing, we are trusting now, knowing now that when we feel a negative energy that actually it's to be embraced this negativity before it is your inner being giving you nudges letting you know guiding you guiding you to take the right leaps of faith your moral compass the right path for you the right direction for you that is going to lead you to resources having having your needs met in the material world oh okay <clears throat> right where now i'm drawn to angels of abundance angels of abundance which is doreen and grant virtue is the message for my wonderful friends from spirit for tuesday the 9th of october 2018 what do my wonderful friends need to know from spirit thank you oh wow you get it is safe for you to receive and i'm truly believing this guys that you are absolutely receiving inner guidance direct from the divine the more you allow yourself to receive the more resources you have available to share with others open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world wow so it is safe for you to receive for you to receive this abundance prosperity it is safe for you to receive thoughts and ideas that are going to inspire you into great leaps forward and it is safe for you to be a conduit for you to really connect with the divine so you can do the sifting and sorting finding which way your compass is pointing which way to go which is the divine path to follow oh okay well i'm drawn to wisdom of the oracle which is colette baron reed what is the message for my wonderful friends from spirit for tuesday the 9th of october 2018 do my friends need to know thank you okay so we have a message in a bottle 
this is for some of you receiving divinely guided messages today and you will be in no doubt when you receive it it may just be something that appears on your path it may be a conversation you overhear it may be something you see on a billboard it may be a book fall off a shelf it may be a bird or a butterfly or something go past you you will be in no doubt today of this internal internal of this inspirational i am hearing not internal it will come internally though because it's going to come divinely guided but it's a feeling inspirational message it's an inspirational message for you it's really going to i'm really drawn to this fool where he is he's really making leaps and bounds forward truly believing in himself i'm feeling There's no net here. I really feel that some of you now are, you've taken your, your safety net away and you are, you really are ready for this leap. You, you, your inner being and the divine. Ooh, okay, now where? Who is calling me? This is a light worker oracle by Alana Fairchild. <coughs> Is the message for my wonderful friends from spirit for Tuesday well it's not all of you but I think it's that last one that stuck to my finger I did that last time okay oh wow so we get number 38 earth healing isn't that an absolutely beautiful picture so 38 and 38 well it adds up to 11 11 being the number of enlightenment so I do feel some of you have received enlightenment you have received this gift from the divine and you are really moving forward now on your divinely guided path earth healing you are making a real contribution to the planet through your spiritual journey. Remember this and believe that your needs will be generously met by the earth and the universe. What you are doing matters and you will be supported. The earth recognises you. She sees you as a conduit through which she is fed higher frequencies of light, love and divine presence. This assists her on the journey of her own evolution. Earth is an exceptionally beautiful and powerful divine being in her own right. Yet she, like every other being, benefits from the assistance of higher frequencies which offer a loving hand to help raise her vibration and continue her evolution. You are here to have your spiritual life journey in a human body. Part of that process will involve sharing your light with the earth, with the earth itself. This may see you take on the role of a healer, guide, mentor or teacher to others on the path. It may see you doing work with the natural world, with various earth-centred causes such as conservation and animal welfare, organic and biodynamic farming and ethical food production. It may involve an active prayer life that is ongoing through your day, praying for assistance, uh, compassion, clearing and blessing when you see an accident on the road, an animal or person who need, seems to be suffering, or an item on the news that you know needs light and healing. An earth healing is really taking place here i really see this connection for some of you <coughs> excuse me for some of you i really feel you now are divinely guided you really have your connection you are conduits we can all be conduits we can all connect to the divine we can all connect to spirit it is a practice it is a practice on tuning out and tuning in 
you're going to receive a message today some of you <clears throat> i don't feel that you're going to miss this message it's going to really make itself known it's going to make itself known because you are we have two cards here that are reminding you what wonderful conduits you are and that you are now understanding that your emotions and any negative emotions that you are feeling are to be felt because that is your inner being letting you know that your inner being is there giving you divine guidance showing you that that's not the way to go that that isn't serving you that's why you have that negative feeling these are what's serving you trusting and believing in yourself knowing you can do it knowing you can go all the way taking away your safety net and taking a great leap anyway knowing that spirit will catch you if you fall but i don't feel any of you are going to fall i really see you going the distance listen excuse me <clears throat> listening to spirit guidance divine guidance along your path noticing the messages from spirit that are coming your way and remembering you are an earth angel and you have been sent here you have been sent here for a purpose and i feel some of you are now finding your purpose you've removed the safety net and you're off and i think this is absolutely wonderful my friends wow well thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits and wow another wow i can't help it oh so many so many so many comments thank you thank you so much for taking the time to to comment and for leaving me such wonderful kind warm encouraging and supportive comments um moving comments um, and it is wonderful for me to read them because i can also see that some of you really are oh, off and on your way taking away that safety net and for me that is the wonderful news the good news i'm always waiting to hear <laughs> Well, I wish you all a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until tomorrow, my friends, goodbye.